Hi, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon and I'm going to be your instructor for today. I'm real excited to get to today's lesson because I can answer a question that I've been asked several times but I haven't been able to demonstrate. And that's when to use fluorescent powder over a traditional black powder, a white powder, or a gray powder. So I was fortunate enough when I was driving around I found this on the side of the road and this is a, a granite or marble sink. It has gray, white, a little bit of brown in it. So when you're trying to develop this with a white powder or a black powder, you're not going to get those ridge details that you really are looking for. So here's the solution. We can use our fluorescent powder. I'm going to use orange, but you could use green, um, orange, red. You could use whatever powder that you want. So this is what we're going to do. First, I'm going to put my gloves on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop this print on the sink here and then I'm going to zoom in on it so you can really see the difference so I'll develop it with an orange I'll develop it with the black and I'll develop it with the white a couple different prints and then you'll zoom in and I'll use the alternative light source today we're just going to use our our battle light I'm just going to use a, um, a UV light I'm not using a blue light where you need the goggles or anything like that and I still think you're going to see fantastic results so I'm going to use a feather brush for this today. I'm going to fan that out. And again, I'm going to use the orange powder. Oh, look at that. It's brilliant. So we're going to take that orange powder. Now we just need just a little bit. Now remember, more details less powder if you go ahead and develop that and you're jamming that brush in there you're gonna get terrible prints so we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and dust this up now this is where we're really going to see what type of results we have so I'm going to take my ultraviolet light I'm just going to shine it on there those prints just jump right out of here why don't we go ahead and zoom in on those so I can uh, really show what detail we have here. So we can see here, when I zoom in on this, you can see those ridge detail in three fingerprints. I have my, my light on low. This battle light allows me to turn down the, uh, the power of the light so I can try to show you those ridge details. Otherwise it gets overpowered. Okay, so now that we have that, we saw how this worked very well uh, with the light, using our UV light to light that up. Now if we went ahead and we tried to develop the same fingerprints using the, we'll use a traditional black powder. And I'm going to use a traditional uh, well, powder brush, just because I'm very uh, used to that. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit. And then I'm just going to... Do the black. I'm going to lay that down here. And then I'm going to do the same with the white. Nice new brush. Just a little bit there. Now I'm going to do the white. Now I can't see, and I know I put some on here, some nice sebaceous prints. I can't see where those fingerprints are. They're really not popping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, goodbye to you now, but before we leave, I'm going to zoom in on this material here so you can see the difference between those nice, bright orange prints, the black prints, and the white prints. So I thought this was a great exercise for you to see the fluorescent powder. Now you can lift this with, with anything else and what I'll do here is I'll just take uh, some hinge lifters or uh, you could use tape if you wanted to use tape and you could just go ahead actually you know we're gonna use the tape we'll just use the tape do a little Texas tear here which is where you cross it over like so Then I'm just gonna give that a little pull that pulls right off now we're gonna lift it I'm gonna put it right on there lift it up Put it on one of our black backing cards.
then again, you have an amazing, wonderful print. Okay, so thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'm going to zoom in on these before we go, but I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. You can get all these products at limpv.com. You can watch all my videos on forensic education. Like my video, please. And also, you can subscribe to my channel. I try to come out with uh, videos every couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. So here's that nice print I was talking about. I lifted one of them. You can see the ridge detail. Now right down here is the black print. Again, very difficult to see. And you can't even see the white print that I developed. Again, thanks for watching.